Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I am finally doing the 12 month review of the TSKP Studio Planner, which is the sticker kit planner. And I did do a initial review for the prototype planner a few weeks back and I went ahead and um, put the link in the description box below if you're interested, but this is what the prototype looked like. The coil was a lot smaller. Again, it was just simply a prototype with three weeks. I did a mock spread and everything, a full review on pen test, sticker test, et cetera, et cetera. So that will be linked below and be sure to check that out if you want to. But since then I was committed to going ahead and getting the full 12 month planner. So this is going to encompass the weekly and the monthly, but you do have the choice to only get weeklies if you do not use the monthly section as well, which I love and I think it's awesome. You save a little bit of coin, so on and so forth, everyone wins. And so I am on the PR team and you can use Rachel 10 to save 10% off. So I was really excited to get this. She left a really cute note and Erin is just awesome. I'm really, really thankful she created something for the community. She does design these planners in-house by herself, by the way. She coils everything, all of that, prints, cuts, everything. I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you the planner. It is absolutely stunning. So this is the beautiful 2021 planner that I'll be using. I forget. I always mess up with the new year every single time. Let me know if you're the same because I'll probably be writing 2020 still for a while, but you know. So I love this cover. I was incredibly happy when she designed this and it's literally me. Super beautiful. I love the font that we chose. So pretty. I love the white coil. So everything, like I said, is made in house. So this coil is manufactured. You know, it's made in a factory <laughs> and this one is made from home and it's still really good quality. So I know a lot of you were nervous about the coil because you only saw my prototype one, but this is the main coil for the 12 month planner. Let me zoom you in some. So I also love that she made such a large coil to go ahead and, you know, work and help when it comes to the planner getting bulky because it starts bulging right here, especially, and it gets really frustrating because it's just, one, it's not cute. And secondly, when I film, everything is out of whack and it's trying to adjust and focus and everything. So really love that she thought about this. Very, very awesome. So as soon as you open it, oh, hold on. Let me show you the back. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I love this green. I love the white, the white with the coil. Super, super beautiful and absolutely stunning. I can't stop staring at it. This is so pretty. Okay, so as soon as you open it, you get this planner belongs to, and it's got the stickerplanner.com at the bottom. Her paper is absolutely thick and amazing. As soon as you open it, you get this 12 month section. You can use this to mark birthdays. You can use this to mark goals, anything, honestly. And then I love her tabs, they're white as well. So as soon as you open to the monthly section, like I said, I purchased the month and weekly, but you can just get the weekly if you if you don't use the monthly. I really love that option because not everybody uses monthly sections and I like to for monthly highlights. So I love this, I love how neutral it is. I appreciate that she kept everything incredibly neutral and thought about us. Like it's just super, super amazing and thoughtful. So here, as soon as you open it, you do get to the first week. I probably will end up doing two New Year's spreads because, um, yeah, because my Erin Condren planner still has the last, um, the last week or the first full week of the new year as well. So I do like that, especially for the purpose of doing a mock spread in the new planner. So really excited to go ahead and do two different kinds of spreads. So this is what it looks like. This is the format that Erin and I worked on. I'm really happy with this so, so much. I'm gonna show you the comparison with the prototype format. So this format has gaps in between the column lines to accommodate for the headers. And what I actually wanted to do was kind of create like a, like a mix with the Erin Condren one too, because I really did start liking how this was formatted where there was just one line because if you watch my plan plan with me you know I don't always put a header in every single column so if you do like this format this format is perfect for you because if you want to go ahead and have a section for all of your headers that is absolutely perfect for you so I wanted to go ahead and kind of keep some things that were still in the Aaron Condren format like how all the lines were still consistently the same down the column and how there was only one grayed out subtle line to go ahead and mark the different 
rows. So I really love that, but I also wanted to keep this top section with the header shape because I wanted to still keep all my headers in line and I wanted the sidebar to be in line with the top header because I can always put a full box higher if I want to or keep it lower. I do love the script. I know that right at this point I have so many month scripts, but I really do love the option of keeping the month if I want to or switching it out depending on my mood or depending on if I don't have like the correct month foil color and script type and font, et cetera, et cetera. And then also the sidebar here has some really faded lines. So I wanna see if I can zoom you in more. Oh, here we go. So there's very subtle lines. And I like this because it helps me line everything up nicely. And at the bottom you do, um, for my, for the layout that we discussed and that I preferred, here is the prototype again. So I, I didn't really care for these lines here to go ahead and like show the bottom washi. And for me, I don't really need lines to, to keep myself straight because basically I just line everything up with this corner here to put down the bottom washi and I like that even though these lines are super, super gray, I still feel like you can see it. And I like that it's just completely empty and bare, so I don't have to worry about any lines peeking through the washi at all. So I really love that because, you know, sometimes some washi colors are very light, some are white. And yeah, so this is the weekly format that Aaron and I discussed, and I really, really love it. So what we basically did was just change the column line so it's just, you know, it continues on, and there's only one line for the second and third row, and there are no lines in the bottom washi. So really love this format. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm so thankful that Aaron worked with me on this because it truly is like my dream kind of layout and format. So this is what it looks like. And if you guys did get this layout here, the one from the prototype, this is also an amazing and awesome format as well. It's very neutral. And I think this would work for people, especially that like to use headers in every single row. So I really love that as well. So anyways, so this is the full, the full planner. There's nothing more to it other than, you know, it's a full month and I will go ahead and do a mock or I'll do a mock spread soon whenever I do the new year's one, but Aaron did throw in some extra sheets so we can go ahead and do like pen tests and sticker tests and stuff like that. I don't want to ruin the planner because I, you know, I don't want to get into it yet and put anything on it yet just because it is my brand new planner for 2021. So I pulled out a few stickers so I can do a sticker test. Let's see, let's see. So what I find interesting is I was asking Aaron if these, if the lines were a lot, sorry, I'm trying to like focus. <laughs> I was asking her if the columns were really were wider than a standard Erin Condren. But I think what you have to do, because with the Erin Condren planner, I think what you had to do was, what most people were doing were lining up the sticker on top of the line. But with the sticker kit planner, the TSKP planner, by the way, that removes really nicely. I think you're supposed to be putting the sticker right outside of the line for, for it to be perfectly inside the column. I hope that makes sense. Erin did measure everything perfectly, so, Everything that she has and that I've seen, it is supposed to be the proper, you know, format. And she's tested it with several different kinds of stickers. So I really think it just depends on how and where you place the sticker down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. You know what? I wanna actually test this on a page in here. Just because this is the format of the prototype, but it shouldn't be a big difference just because, oh, that fits beautifully. I love that. So it does fit in line. So like I was saying, and I hope um, I explained it pretty easily. I don't think I did, but I'm gonna show you, for example, in the Erin Condren Planner. So in the Erin Condren Planner, if you put a sticker down, typically what people end up doing is, or what I end up doing is I put a sticker on the actual line and then it basically lines up perfectly on, on the left side of the column line. But with the TSKP planner, I believe you need to put the sticker right outside of the line, like right on the inside of the column line, and then it will end up being 
in the column. So I hope that makes sense. I probably made no sense and that was probably difficult to explain, <laughs> but let me see. And this comes off pretty easily. It's a little bit of like pick up and red, like um, peel up, but it's not too bad. I've experienced that all the time in my Erin Condren planner anyways. So it doesn't really make a difference. Let me go to the sidebar. I hope you're all in frame. Good gracious, Rachel. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up right on the inside of the column. That was not straight at all. Yeah, I think that looks awesome. So I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna try a full box too. And I like these lines here, so if I want to put my full boxes, you know, stagger them from row to row, it's easier. So see, that's literally perfect. So that is the major difference. And um, I've had questions on this, that's why I wanna talk about it, because if you, in, in the Erin Condren, if you put, most people put the sticker on the actual line and let it kind of, you know, write out and place it down. But in the TSKP one, I recommend putting the sticker directly on the, on the right side of the column line and it will end up being within the column. So it just really depends on your preference. I really don't mind, I actually kind of like this so you can see all of the lines cohesively because if you think about the Erin Condren, like in our spreads here, um, you end up not seeing the line at all. So you start seeing kind of like empty gaps in between. So it would end up kind of looking like this with the gaps in between. So I'm probably not explaining this very well. It's really hard to like, welcome to sticker 101. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to peel these guys up and see how it goes. And this is the 2021 planner. That is, that came off beautifully. I'm very, very pleased and happy. So this is her newest format. And I think this, these extra sheets are also with the other format, just depending on what you purchased. I know that she was working with me on this newer format, so I wanna to try to put this down again. Yeah. I think as long as you put the sticker to, this, to the right of the column line, you are perfectly fine. I really hope I'm making sense because I feel like I'm so confusing. But yeah, so that is the sticker test. Oh, I should probably take these off, should I? So I don't end up forgetting when I go do a spread. I'm like, what in the world? That came off so nicely. Of course I am using like premium matte stickers, so pretty awesome and foolproof. <laughs> but to be transparent with you too, in my Erin Condren, I do sometimes tear the paper. It just depends on how long the sticker's been on there, what kind of you know sticker you're using, the shop. There's so many different factors, but that's pretty awesome. Anyways, really excited for this planner. I hope that you, you know, try it out. And if you do, let me know what your thoughts are. I know a few of you already picked up this planner because let's be honest, there aren't that many options right now if you are trying to look outside of Erin Condren. And I'm just really, really happy and pleased with this. The paper is very comparable to the Erin Condren. It's nice and thick. As you saw, there's a lot of like tooth to it. So you're able to lift the stickers up really easily. And it's just super neutral. Like I'm obsessed with the monthly, especially. And I'm just in love with the weekly section too. So great job, Erin. Be sure to use Rachel 10 to save 10% off. If you want a full review on pen test and everything like that, be sure to check out my original prototype review. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.